an artistic eye, the ability to freeze the moment, it is this splendor and sheer beauty of the mountain kingdom, rich with stories untold. This is what motivated Justice Galebe to travel the lands and breadths of Lesotho to capture this beauty. This is uh, what I saw in Kacha's neck. It is an old adage that we walk, we look but we do not see, we listen but we do not hear. It takes a skill and a great photographer to be able to freeze that moment such that we can appreciate the beauty that we see. As an artist, you, you, you have a certain eye, you know, uh, to freeze certain moments. And most of them are the pictures that I've, you know, taken. It's because I saw something unique that when I capture it once, it, sometimes you'll never see it again. It is some of these masterpieces that will be auctioned and its proceeds will be donated to a center for children with disability. Uh, at the moment, uh, it's very difficult uh, for the center to, uh, to, to survive and the food prices are growing higher and higher. And the plan is to make sure that they have a greenhouse where they can grow food all year round. So the donor who was sponsoring the home has put out. Now the kids now has the problem of the food, electricity, water bills, the people who are taking care of them, they have to be paid salaries, so that's why we need the money so that the kids may be taken care of. The exhibition has impressed many. Beautiful pictures, amazing art. It's really great to see that we have people of this caliber in the country. I hear you are about to outshine everyone and buy all the pictures in here. Uh, we certainly hope so. Uh, we're hoping, we're really excited for the auction and we've already added one or two pieces that we're really interested in maybe purchasing. I've seen some really beautiful pictures which are really absurd and I'm inspired by everything that I saw in here. I would literally buy every picture that I can if I had the money now. We sometimes like to see when, when we photograph uh, people in villages and people in, in remote areas. I love the way in which he has depicted them. It, you don't look at the images and, and feel sorry for the people and uh, that is the quality. While some are spoiled for choice, many are simply in awe of the beauty of the country captured through the lens. These spectacular moments will live forever and be passed from generation to generation. Rapelang Khatebe, SABC News, Maserole Sotu.